Hello guys and welcome to a new video which is requested by so many of you. So today I'll be ranking all the mods in the new season 8 from 10 to 1. And I'll be explaining everything you need to know about these mods, what they do and how they work. So after watching this video you'll know which mods to use on your guns. Few basic tips that I need to mention before we start. First of all there are exactly 10 mods in the game right now. And each mod has 5 different rarities ranging from common to legendary and all of these rarities gives bonus stats but the legendary version of the mod is special as it comes with a unique ability and if you understand them well they will give you huge advantages allowing you to win fights a lot easier finally keep in mind that the ranking of the mods in this video isn't that important because every mod is powerful if you use it on the right gun but i rank them based on what i use the most so don't take the ranking seriously i just want you to understand how each mod works that way you can choose the right mods for yourself based on the guns you use and your playstyle and with with that being said, let's get started. We're gonna start with the Sniper Expert mod. This mod can be used on snipers and marksmen only and it offers less weapon sway. And if you don't know what weapon sway means, it's the aim movement after opening your scope. And this sway occurs after a certain amount of time which is different from one sniper to another. For example, it takes 8 seconds for the sway to start when using the DLQ-33. As for the right tech, it only takes 5 seconds. So what this mod does, first of all, it increases the time needed to start the sway. So if we use a legendary sniper expert mod on the DLQ, you will notice that the time increased from 8 seconds to almost 13 seconds. Which means you'll have an extra 5 seconds of stable aim without any sway. And even when the sway starts, this mod slightly decreases the sway distance, allowing you to aim a lot easier. As for the special perk that comes with the legendary version of this mod, it allows you to use your sniper in burst mode. So it goes from this to this. However, there are two glitches I came across when testing this mod. According to the description, this mod should work on all snipers and marksmen, but that's not the case. It only works on certain guns like the SKS, the XPR, and the right tech. But it doesn't work on many other guns like the DLQ-33, and the MK2. The second glitch, sometimes even when using this mod on one of the guns that works with it, you'll notice that it doesn't work. Like in here, I'm using it on the SKS, but it's still shooting in single mode. To solve this, just drop the mod on the ground and pick it up again. This mod is not as strong as it may look because shooting in burst mode results in a very high recoil, especially in snipers like the right tech. You'll end up shooting down Elon Musk satellites instead of the enemies. The best gun that I consider perfect for this mod is the SKS because this gun won't have much recoil. Just use it in close to mid range and you'll be shredding enemies in split seconds. In number 9 we have the long barrel. This mod can be used on shotguns only and it gives less bullet spread. This bullet spread reduction always works whether you use the shotgun with ADS or with hip fire. So basically it increases the accuracy of your shots and allows you to kill your enemies much faster. Other than that, this mod increases the bullet velocity allowing you to hit moving targets easily. And if you're wondering why the enemy managed to one shot you with a shotgun, it's mostly because he's using this mod. I mean they can still one shot you without it in close range, but this mod enables them to do it from a further distance. As for the perk that comes with the legendary version, it allows you to reload one bullet into the mag every time you slide. Airdrop incoming. However, unlike the old slider mod, the long barrel does not increase the sliding distance. It always remains the same. 
In number 8, we have the long range mod. This mod works on any type of gun. And what it does is increase the range of the gun, allowing you to have more damage at further distance. In this example, I'm using an AK-47 shooting at an enemy 40 meters away. So without the range mod, the damage to the chest is 23 for each shot. The last and after using the mod, the damage increased to 26. As for the legendary range mod perk, it gives an additional headshot multiplayer bonus damage. I'm not sure how much exactly and I'm too lazy to do the math, but I can tell you that it's a lot. As you can see here, without the mod, each bullet to the head deals 27 damage only. But after using the mod, each headshot now deals an insane damage of 46, which means you can kill an enemy with 7 shots only. In number 7, we have the precise shot mod, and it works on all guns except shotguns. Because shotguns already have long barrel mod, so they don't need this one. So just like the long barrel mod, this mod offers less bullet spread. So in here you can see side to side comparison with and without the mod. The difference might look a bit small, and that's because I'm using it at close range. This mod is mostly useful at longer ranges, as the spread tends to increase a lot. As for the perk that comes with the legendary version of this mod, it's basically the sloth mod from last season, which is sadly useless. So after after hitting your enemy, you'll notice a red line highlighting their body which will reveal their location for a very short time, even if they're inside buildings or behind cover. But the duration of this perk is extremely short and not worth it. Boy, get that weak shit out of here. Moving on to number 6, we have the fast ADS mod. This mod also works on any gun, and what it does is decrease the aiming time. So in here, I use a legendary fast ADS mod on a DLQ sniper rifle, and it decreased the aim speed from 460 milliseconds to approximately 350 milliseconds. As for the perk that comes with the legendary version of this mod, it's the runner mod ability from last season. And what it does is it gives you a temporary speed boost after opening your scope. This speed boost lasts for 5 seconds and it has a cooldown of 15 seconds before you can use it again. In my opinion, this perk is one of the best among all of these mods. Because it allows you to do many things like rushing your enemies and surprising them with burst speed. Or maybe run away from tough situations. It also helps you strafe and dodge enemy bullets in face to face gunfights. In number 5, we have the vertical recoil mod, which is the stabilizer mod from last season. And it reduces the vertical recoil of the gun. So in here, we have the recoil pattern with the legendary vertical recoil mod on the left. And on the right, we have it without the mod. And you can clearly see the amount of recoil reduction thanks to this mod. So this will allow you to control your gun a lot easier. And I recommend using this mod with the AK-47 since it mostly have vertical recoil. As for the perk that comes with the legendary version of this mod, it reduces the hit flinch. So in this example, I'm getting shot by an enemy and notice that every time I get hit the screen shakes a little bit so that screen shaking is basically what the hit flinch is and it makes it harder for you to aim at the enemies when you exchange fire with them but if we use the legendary vertical recoil mod it significantly reduces the hit flinch to the point where you won't even feel it and therefore you won't get any screen shakes and you can hit your shots a lot easier Next, we have the lateral recoil mod. This mod reduces the horizontal recoil of your gun. And again, on the left, we have an AK-117 with the mod equipped, and on the right, without it. And you can notice the huge difference between them, as this mod managed to almost completely eliminate the horizontal recoil from the AK-117, which is why I consider it a perfect mod for this gun. Oh yeah, that's good. As for the legendary mod perk, it gives you bonus movement speed when shooting with ADS. And you can see that in this example. So the enemy on the left is aiming at me with a gun that has legendary lateral recoil mod. And on the right, he's aiming without it. And you can notice that his movement speed is faster on the left compared to the right. All thanks to the perk that comes with the legendary version of this mod. So it makes him harder to hit and it allows him to dodge my bullets a lot easier.
We are after the top 3 mods starting with the extended mag and the extended sniper mag. The reason I put them together because they have the exact same function and perk. The only difference is that the extended sniper mag works with snipers only. While the normal extender mag is made for the other guns. These mods have two functions. First of all they increase the mag capacity and second of all they decrease the reload speed. And it's different from one gun to another. So for example using a green extender mag on a ground AK-47 increases the mag capacity by 10 bullets. It also reduced the reload time from 2.2 seconds to 1.8 seconds only. As for the legendary extender mod perk, it's basically the reloader mod and it's a mod that I talked about in two old videos. And I mentioned that they never released this mod, but they finally did it. But instead of releasing it as a separate mod, they decided to merge it with the extended mod, which is a smart idea and a perfect combination. So in this example, I have an LK24 with 14 bullets on the mag. And on the left, I have an AK47 with the legendary extender mag equipped. Now keep an eye on the LK24 bullets and see what happens after 5 seconds. So the LK24 reloaded on its own without even switching to it. And that's what the reloader perk does. It automatically reloads your secondary gun after 5 seconds. Which allows you to fight for longer durations without the need to reload. And I think it's perfect for aggressive players. Another thing worth mentioning here. If you used a legendary extender mod last season. Then you know that it discards all the remaining ammo when you reload. But you don't have to worry about that anymore. The new legendary extender mod reloads normally without discarding any extra ammo. So if you fire 10 bullets then it will reload 10 bullets. And finally, if you watch my gameplay videos, then you know that I love hipfire. And that's the reason why I put this mod as my number one on the list. So the hipfire boost mod is basically the QRF mod from last season. The first thing that you guys need to know is how the hipfire works in this game. I want you to take a look at the crosshairs of my MX-9. Check these four lines right here. The distance between the four lines and the dot in the center represents your current hipfire accuracy. And the closer the lines to the dot, the higher accuracy you'll get. Notice that when I move around, the lines also move away from the dot. And that's because because the movement decreases your hipfire accuracy. Now notice what happens to the crosshairs when I equip the hipfire boost mod to the MX-9. You can see that the lines got closer to the dot which means now I have higher hipfire accuracy. So here's a side to side comparison between an MX-9 with the mod on the left and an MX-9 without the mod on the right. And you can notice the accuracy difference. As for the perk that comes with the legendary hipfire mod, it significantly improves the hipfire accuracy after damaging an enemy. So notice that the four lines got even closer to the dot after shooting few bullets. It's like your hipfire accuracy is on steroids. There are three things you need to know about the perk of the legendary hipfire mod. First of all, you don't have to damage enemies to get the boost. You can literally shoot at anything that takes damage, like vehicles for example, and it will work. The second thing is that the boost you get after hitting your enemy is temporary and it depends on how much damage you deal to the enemy. So for example here, I fired one shot only at the muscle car so the boost lasted less than 2 seconds. Then I tried shooting a full mag on this vehicle right here and the boost lasted for almost a minute. Three hours later. Finally, reloading your gun or switching to another gun while having the boost doesn't cancel it. That was everything for today's video. I really hope you guys found this useful and I hope it clears your confusion on which mods to use from now on. This video took more than 15 hours of continuous testing and editing and I mean your view is more than enough but if you're feeling extra generous then kindly consider leaving a like and maybe sharing it with your friends. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Can I be your superhero?